Hey everyone, so sorry I haven't posted a video lately. Um, we've been renovating our house and we finally are coming to the end. We've actually moved in. However, there's still a couple of things that we haven't quite done yet. Um, one thing being uh, Tito and Cheeto's new cage. We're still working on that and that'll be in probably two more weeks is when we'll post a video on that. However, it's coming together really well. But yeah, so right now, um, Tito and Cheeto are temporarily living with my parents just because they have no place in the new house yet. However, we've had a slight incident, and from the title, um, you guys already know what it is. Tito accidentally got out of his cage. I don't know, he like bumped off one of the heavy duty clips that I have on there, and um, he was able to squeeze out through uh, the bottom of the cage. And so, because, you know, I always put those video clips of me uh, letting Tito drink from you know the sink and all of that just so he can have like fresh straight from the tap water and not always drinking out of his bowl. Um, so he decided he was thirsty so he went up and actually tried to get his own water and that would have been great and all but he managed to clog the sink on top of that and so uh, yeah um, luckily it was in the morning right before my dad was going to work and so when uh, he went downstairs and was about to leave, he heard the sound of running water and he was like, uh oh, that's not good because he was the only one home at the time. And so um, he went upstairs, he checked on Cheeto and he noticed that Cheeto was fine and that wasn't the problem. And so he was like, oh crud, uh, it's coming from Tito's room. So he went in there and then he just heard the water just gushing out everywhere and so what happened as i said he clogged the sink and it just pulled up in the the sink and then it spilled over the top and then from there because it was on a second story floor it was actually dripping down to the floor below and so yeah it totally ruined the ceiling so we have to cut out and replace all the sink and you know all the sink um, all the uh, ceiling and do the drywall kind of like we did at um, our new place that we renovated we did all the drywall and stuff like that so like overall it's not like the end of the world by any stretch of the imagination but it's still definitely a huge hassle to have to you know fix something that shouldn't have happened in the first place but a lot of people see these like cute uh, videos of like the raccoons and stuff and they think that they want one themselves and for, I know for the most part, like the people who say that aren't actually going to go out and get a pet raccoon. But I know some people are actually interested in getting a pet raccoon. And so um, I, I like to post these videos every now and then of like the bad things that happen. Just so people understand what it's like to get a pet raccoon. It's not all cute and cuddly all the time. And uh, they do, ha they're, they're more high maintenance than your typical pet. Because they have other abilities that a dog or a cat has have so like for example they have like little hands and they're able to, they're able to climb like really well and so Tito was actually able to climb onto the sink to turn on the faucet and because he has hands like he can actually do that uh, a dog or cat <laughs> isn't gonna have as, e uh, as easy of a time doing something like that for the people who want to get a pet raccoon just know you know they're a lot more high maintenance they get in trouble where your other animals won't um, but yeah, uh, that's kind of wraps up the story. I'll put the clips in. Of Raccoons are a hassle, what can I say? Um, but anyway, if you like this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe. You know, it helps with the algorithm and, you know, you hear every other YouTube talking about that, other YouTube channel. Um, but yeah, it definitely does help and we'd appreciate it. If you would like to support the channel further, you can always go to titotheraccoon.com and pick up like a painting or you can go to Teespring, which is below this video, and pick up a t-shirt as well. But I definitely appreciate it, guys. And if you like this video, like I said, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.